In today's video, we're gonna look inside of three motorcycle engines using two different boroscopes. These are the Depstech DS580 and the Depstech DS300. Both cameras are dual lens. You got one looking straight down and then one 90 degrees. This DS580 comes in a nice Pelican style case. It's more of a handheld kind of boroscope. Has a flashlight as well with that trigger. It's a five inch screen versus a 4.3 inch screen for this DS300. This is also a higher resolution. This is 1920p for video versus 1080p. Um, you also get kind of a nicer uh, cable here. This one's, the flexibility is kind of like higher quality than this one, but this still works just fine on the DS300. This DS580 also comes with the ability to take five megapixel pictures versus two megapixel for this one. One really important spec to make note of when you're buying these two different cameras is this one has a smaller diameter camera lens, 8.5 millimeters. It's spec to 7.9 on the website, but that's really just this barrel here. And this one here is a little bit larger. The spec is nine millimeters, but that again, that's the barrel. It's 9.5 if you measure on this larger, the cap at the end. So if you're working on European cars or like sport bikes that have a smaller M10 spark plug, or if the fastener on the spark plug, the hex is 14 millimeters or smaller, you're going to want to go with this DS300. If you have a larger vehicle that takes, you know, 5 eighths uh, socket on the spark plug, 18, 22 millimeter, you can go with this one. It really just depends on what vehicles you're going to work on. forgot to mention price. This one was 80 bucks when I bought it. And there's a, I think a 10% discount right now on Amazon. And this one was like 119. So yeah, there's a little bit of price difference there. This one does come with a nicer case. This one does have a case, but it's really built into a, like the box it came with. Since this older Ducati Monster 750 has a larger spark plug hole, we're gonna go ahead and use this Depstech DS580 to inspect this cylinder. Run a little bit rich, but not too bad. So let's turn it on. Just pop this straight in there. Look at that, that's amazing. That detail you can see there. So you got a ton of carbon on that piston crown, the very top of the piston. But the cylinder wall, the detail is incredible. I mean, I know people always brag about seeing the cross hatching, but that is kind of cool to actually see on the cylinder. Let's switch the camera real quick to the side view. Oh, there's a valve. Look at that. You actually see the valve seat. That's insane. Yeah, so the valve looks like, I don't know if that's intake or exhaust valve. I'm going to start recording actually, let's, okay, so now I'm recording, that is amazing, I mean you can see the valve seat itself, valve sticking open, so that must be, I can't actually tell what, okay there what you see is the very top of where the piston travels, so it doesn't go any further than that and you can see where the cylinder kind of changes the texture a little bit. Look at that cross hatch. I mean, that's the detail is absolutely incredible. I'm I'm actually pretty surprised how good this is. Let's see if we can rotate and see another valve. I honestly can't tell what what valve that is. It must be the So there is another valve. That must be the exhaust. I'm thinking but I mean, it's it's carbon city in this thing. <laughs> this thing's really, I mean, what do we have? Like 20, 28,000 miles on it? Oh, 34,000. And that was before I changed the speedo on it. I mean, that's that's insane, the detail on this. That, I'm actually a little bit shocked how good this is. One thing is you can't switch cameras while you're recording, so you gotta, Press this, stop recording, and then switch back to the other camera. 
so now we're on the straight straight down camera yeah so this thing this thing needs to get sea foamed really badly <laughs> that's crazy but I'm I'm super impressed with this camera that's that's actually amazing let's switch views again wow I mean that thing is really gunked up with carbon that is awesome one way to figure out what valve is open is we'll just shove this down the carburetor and see if that's the intake open or not so zoom in here start recording this thing So there's the valve. So that's the intake. So no, that's the exhaust that was open because that thing was so dirty. You could actually see all the black carbon buildup. So here you see the inside of the intake valve. So let's, I'm gonna rotate the cylinder or the uh, engine real quick and see if that'll open or close. Okay. So that's the intake opening. That's so crazy. The detail is incredible. So, I mean, actually, it, I didn't know what to expect when I first opened the box up. It looks like a very quality tool. You know, the, uh, the look and feel of this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Um, I do recommend it. This thing is awesome. If you do any kind of engine diagnostic work or you just, you're just curious, you want to see what's inside the engine. Um, even for, like, plumbing. I wish I had this for plumbing at certain points. And it's like about 125 bucks. So what you get for the price is honestly incredible. So let's start off with this bad boy here. This is a 2012 Ducati Panigale 1199. It has 15,000 miles on the clock and it's due for the Desmo service. This bike has never been in the track. Never hit red line once. So I'm expecting this to have a perfect looking cylinder wall and piston. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's just crack right into it. Oof. Looks like it ran a little bit rich. A lot of wear on that center electrode. So I think we're bottom dead center now. Let's see. Nope, there we go. Okay, so now you can clearly see both intake valves open. Let's switch the camera and take a look at them. Look at that. Let me start recording. That's very impressive. Look at that valve, the uh, valve stem, valve stem seal, all looks very clean on the intake. You can even see the <laughs> you can even see the wear on the valve seat. That's crazy. So there's your exhaust shut. Rotate this. Let me see if I can see the other intake valve. So there's one. Rotate. And there's the other. That's so awesome to be able to see that. To be able to take a look inside your engine and you just see the condition. Kind of get a dual camera view right now. Looking at the top of the piston here and the cylinder wall there. So you see some 
pretty good scoring on the walls there actually but I mean the use of this bike it's not really surprising but surprising the valves look super nice yeah, it's kind of crazy looking dimpling too on the valve seat and the intake tunnel there And not too much carbon deposits, honestly, on the uh, car on the piston. Okay, now let's look inside of the uh, Honda XR80 engine. Oh man, this looks pretty bad. What the heck's going on? Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. This is the uh, see-through engine I made. That almost blew up here. See all the cracks on it. Pretty cool to see on the inside of it though, with the boroscope. Okay, here's the uh, the real Honda XR80 here. And this is a wild card because I have no idea the condition of this engine here. Oh, got the piston right there. It's the top dead center. Let me uh, readjust this real quick. Rotate the engine, let's see. Yeah, cylinder wall is not looking terrible. Uh, it has a little bit of, I don't know, pitting or rust. A lot of carbon buildup past um, top dead center there. Piston's looking pretty clean. Got oily hands, a little bit hard to rotate this thing. Yeah, cylinder's not looking despicable. Let's switch the uh, camera Just to the side view. Or off the side view. Yeah, piston's not looking too bad. It's pretty clean. The combustion chamber itself is looking really carboned up though. Super dirty in there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. This is the kind of thing I wish you could take with you when you're going to buy a used bike. You know, if they let you, if a guy will let you sit there with the boroscope and check it out. One other cool thing with the boroscope is instead of having to pull the gas tank and all that off to get to the air filter down in here, you can push it right through the nose of the bike. Oh, there's the air filter. Okay. Yeah, you can see some, some nastiness on that thing. There's a good shot. Yeah, this thing is highly recommended. Let's stop recording. I mean, I could find a million uses for this thing now that I'm playing around with it. So yeah, if you're interested in buying this thing, uh, link is gonna be in the top right corner of this video and also in the description. So yeah, this thing's a pretty awesome piece of kit. And you know, I didn't know what to expect, but I came away thinking this thing's pretty good. So thanks for watching.